party over here. Shake it for the man of the year. What's going on folks, there's nothing better to do with your boy Blogzilla, we have a special episode of the No Judgment Zone for you, got Grammy nominated producers Nez and Rio in the building, yes. these up? guys party harder than a bunch of people that I know, <laughs> what's going on guys? Cooling man, chilling man, chilling, chilling. So uh, where were you guys at when you heard you guys were getting nominated for a Grammy? I was knocked out, <laughs> I was knocked out sleep man, it was, yeah. it was early in the morning, so, so yeah, it just rolled over, a uh, manager called me, let me know that, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. solid news. <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up. How about you, where were you at? Were you I asleep was, too? Uh, nah, I was awake. I was actually like <laughs> riding around somewhere. <laughs> and my brother called me. My younger brother was like, yo, you just got nominated for a Grammy. I was like, oh shit. That's what's up. Yo. That's that's big. Yeah. And you guys are fairly new at, 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 at getting beats published and stuff, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Schoolboy was only the first people you guys have dealt with? Yeah. How'd you guys connect with Schoolboy? Um, it's probably like what, like uh, three or four years ago now? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, four. Uh, a studio session with uh, Kendrick Lamar, actually, mm -hmm. back when uh, Q was his hype man. Yeah. Um, just talking to everybody in the room, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Q was dope, and, and we knew it. Um, and just, you know what I'm saying, kept that relationship alive since then. Yeah. Kept working with him. Did you guys know that song was going to be as big as it was? Nah. Yeah. To be honest, uh, that that was a, one of the beats that we almost didn't even send them. Really? Yeah, wow. yeah it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to making beats, how do you guys go about the process of making beats? First thing you need is thoughts. Mm -hmm. Thoughts. <laughs> thoughts. Okay. The second thing you need is thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you're banging out the drums and banging out the melodies and stuff, and the thoughts are in there, uh, uh, shaking it and grooving, that's when you know you got it. You got, you got a you know banger. You got, you got a joint. Yeah. How involved are you guys in the process? Do you guys make the hooks? Do you guys sort of just give them the beat? Uh, well, that one we just sent them the beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Q's pretty dope. You could just send them the beat, and you can know it's gonna come back dope. Yeah. Your slang is crazy. You guys say slam. Slam. Can yeah, someone explain yeah. that to me, please? It's a slam, man. It's, it's uh, the slam embodies. Everything that that we pretty much stand for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it, it's kind of like a. It sums it up, man. It, it sums up everything. You know, yeah. the, the slam. He's like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a slam. You know. Is that Chicago slang? Or is it? That's just our. That, yeah, that's, that's our. That's our own shit. personal yeah. shit. I was down the South by Southwest with these guys. And uh, I was sick, so I couldn't slam and be a part of all that slam fest that they were having. But I was so jealous when I would look on Instagram. <laughs> what the fuck was that I involved in that? Like, it was crazy. Um, so this year, you guys doing a bunch of different festivals and a bunch of different stuff. You're everywhere. Uh, what can we expect as far as, like, can I get invited to some of these parties or something? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yo, There's a absolutely. slam house in L.A., right? There's a slam house in L.A. What was that? What's oh, that? Yes. What's the wildest thing that happened in the slam house? Uh, we just moved in. Okay. Light parties. It, it, yeah. It's just been light parties so far. It, it hasn't been a whole lot, but you know, it's it's a it's a lit house too. Yeah. Can we walk through the, uh, the the beat making process? Like, what? Like, how do you guys collaborate with beats? Who does the drums? Who does the melody? Like, I want to know about that. It changes actually. Uh, to be honest with you, like, it's a real like to to kind of watch us in the studio. Um, is is kind of a, a cool experience because we don't really talk a whole lot. Um, you, you know, Ned and I have known each other since elementary school. Been going to the same school since. So, we don't really have a whole lot of like verbal communication when it comes to like, to, like <laughs> yeah. making a beat. It's kind of like a, you know, you, you just kind of like switch off. It's like, you know, I, I might start and then, you know, he, he comes sit down and he, he adds something and then I come sit down and add something. It's like, it's like a, it's a trade off, but it's, yeah. And th there's no real rhyme or reason to it. You guys are working on a project, right? Yeah. Uh, as as artists or producers first, like how how is that gonna work? As both. It's it, it's um uh, us producing ourselves. Um, it's it's a little bit left though. It's it's um a, a little bit different than what people that know as far as production are, are you know uh, yeah. can can kind of expect. I heard that when you produce and when you write. Uh, for other people, you're treated like really, really like VIPs versus when you're an artist, they're like, well, go stay at the Double Tree together and the Holiday Inn and such shit. <laughs> I hope it ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like you get one room, double beds <laughs> versus, oh, you're a writer, first class suite in the W or some shit. I heard that's the case. So now I want to bring in, I want to bring in my girl, uh, Mia. We're gonna play a quick little game, a fun game. The object of the game is to be the worst person. <laughs> Hey. What's up, Mia? Hey. 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 What's my girlfriend this week? I have a different girlfriend every week because I'm Swag. boss like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm the for one. What's, what's up? I Love see you, you shining. The object of the game is basically you have to get the answer that oh, makes you the worst person shit. ever. This shit fucked up. 
So here you go. These are yours. Damn. I'm so gonna ask you a question. Yeah. You're gonna give me the answer <laughs> that makes you the worst person in the universe. All right, so let's see. In Rome, there are whisperings that the Vatican has a secret room devoted to what? What is the Pope getting? <laughs> this is petty. No, 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 this no, is petty. I'm about to be very petty. Be petty. Don't judge me for this one, ladies and gentlemen. In Rome, there are whisperings that the Vatican has a secret room devoted to what? <laughs> That's so petty. All right, so Zilla said, in Rome, there are whisperings that the Vatican has a secret room devoted to Darth Vader. Yes. Mm. Darth Vader. <laughs> All right, in Rome. Imagine a pope like praying to Darth Vader. That's <laughs> <laughs> horrible. And okay, so uh, Rio, right? Yeah. Okay, Rio <laughs> said in Rome there are whisperings that the Vatican has a <laughs> secret <laughs> room <laughs> devoted <laughs> to <laughs> surprise sex. My name I think is that's Niz. Good. My name is, for the record, my name is Niz. <laughs> oh. This is Rio. Yeah, we just, we just, we just rolling with it. And Niz is into surprise I, sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's, it's cards against humanity. The new Chevy Tahoe with the power and space to take blank everywhere you go. You it's lit. <laughs> it does. <laughs> These are pretty good. Okay. Zilla said the new Chevy Tahoe with the power and space to take Rush Limbaugh's soft, shitty body everywhere you go. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a good thing. That's too good. All right. Nez said the new Chevy, Chevy Tahoe with the power and space to take natural male enhancement <laughs> everywhere you go. Oh, it's lit. Yes. It's like a trunk full of things. <laughs> oh, I'm always lit. All right. And Rio said the new Chevy Tahoe with the power and space to take me time. Everywhere me you time. go. I think that's, that's similar dope. to Miller Hansen. Me time, guys. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is me time. <laughs> that's definitely yeah. me time. That's our show, folks. Join us next week when we arm wrestle a midget who's blindfolded with Miley Cyrus's panties. Your boy Blockzilla, <laughs> we out of here. Can I be there? Yes. Yeah, yeah let's go. Okay. Yes. You're watching Global Grind TV with Nez and Rio. Turn up. Slam. Slam. Fuck you up, son. <laughs> Do you feel like you got a, a, a claim at the title of King of New York? Or is that still important that people even want anymore? Nah. I'm